Hi everyone, this is Savage from StormKit. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate StormKit with BunnyCDN. At the end of the video, you will be able to host your Jamstack application on BunnyCDN without writing a custom pipeline for the deployments. All right, for this tutorial, I have created an example application called StormKit React Minimal. Let's click on that. I use a default environment that comes when you create an application. Now, let me show you the build configuration. Click on edit. As you can see, I have provided a public folder, which is the output of your build command. And so far, this is pretty st standard. In order to enable Bunny CDN integration, all you have to do is provide two special environment variables called SK Bunny CDN storage key and SK Bunny CDN storage zone. These variables are used to activate the integration and make an API call to upload the deployment artifacts to Bunny CDN. Since these are special environment variables, they're not injected in your code, so it should be safe to use them. Now that we have seen the configuration, let's illustrate how to deploy your application. I'm going to click on the repository name and create a new PR. Let's click here, type in something. All right, create pull request. And here it is. Now type stormkit deploy publish and provide a comment. This will trigger a new deployment and will tell stormkit to publish the artifacts to bunny CDN. The publish keyword is the one that actually tells stormkit to publish the artifacts to bunny CDN. Once the deployment is complete, stormkit should leave a link right here. This may take a few seconds. Now, as of today, since this feature is still in beta version, uh, in the comment you'll see a traditional StormKit link. In the future, we will add a way to provide domain aliases and include them in the PR comment. As for today, you can use StormKit's outbound webhooks to trigger a notification on Slack or Discord or your favorite chat tool and leave the link there once the deployment is complete. Since the pool pull zones link is static, this shouldn't be a problem. Now that the deployment is complete, let's visit our bunny CDN endpoint to check whether it went through. Get react internal dot bcdn dot net. It's not this one. So let me check here. All right, it works perfectly. Now, anytime you will tell StormKit to deploy and publish, StormKit will overwrite the files in your storage zone. So the bunny CDN endpoint will show the updated version. This works perfectly for smaller teams, but if you're in a larger team, you may want to create an environment for each developer and associate a different pool zone uh, with each environment. And this way, each developer can have their preview environments and they won't be overwriting others' work. One last note, today StormKit supports S3 and Bunny CDN, but in the future we're going to add support for more services. Alright, that was it. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye.